Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and I am very excited today because somebody asked me some time back that can you share some personal stories from your life where you had seen any kind of miracles? Well, many miracles I have seen and today one of those I will share. So this is <coughs> somewhere the year, sorry, uh, 2012 I would say. Or it could be 11 or 13 or, or definitely not 11. It's either 12 or 13. And this was a very exciting year for uh, spirituality, at least in my life, 2012, I would say. And there was something very interesting which happened in Tanjavur. Tanjavur is a very famous holy place in southern part of India in Tamil Nadu. Hopefully, yes, it's in Tamil Nadu. And... There's a very famous temple of Lord Shiva there. It is known as Brihadeshwara Temple. And they say that Tanjavur is the land of Lord Shiva, of course. So anybody who visits Tanjavur must visit or is supposed to or should visit Brihadeshwara Temple. So if you have never visited Tanjavur, then please do visit. And if you visit Tanjavur, please make sure you not only just visit you spend an entire day in the Brihadeshwara temple and there's a very big shivling it's huge it's massive it is mind-boggling it's out of the world and it's an amazing place and there are a lot of stories about how the temple was made you know the construction and then there are a lot of specialities which are there at an external at an architectural level which i will not discuss in this video because that will take a long time unnecessarily but you can find in Google, Marvels and Secrets of um, Brihadeshwara Temple. You can search in Google, okay? You'll find it. And yes, as usual, if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life, like career, marriage or relationships, health, anything, then you could always go down to my description section where you'll find the link to the website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And today, after the story, you will definitely be convinced that he's there. All right. So what happened? So it was the year 2012 or 13. <laughs> so in that year, uh, we had a lot of spiritual programs. I would say it was in 2012. And this is somewhere around the time of September, I would say. And... Uh, this was the time when because we uh, we had a group in Chennai at SRM University which is almost 50 kilometers away from Chennai it's a bit near to Kanchipuram I would say not that near of course so from SRM we we, we had a lot of uh, big group of 70 to 80 uh, people who used to stay together where we used to do spiritual practices every day morning and in the evening we used to study for our bachelors and college and engineering and we decided one day that we will visit Tanjavur it's a great place and therefore we decided we will go there in the month of September and what happened was due to some reason I mean uh, that's how uh, things work sometimes you know miracles so what happened was we had gone to Tanjavur and Whenever we go, we, we never just went and we never just came back. What we did is, we always used to stay in a particular place. Not in the temple necessarily, but around the vicinity of the temple. And we used to do a lot of, uh, we used to have a lot of discussions from the scriptures, especially the Rama and the Mahabharat, Shrimad Bhagavatam, then Bhagavad Gita especially. And... Eventually, we would uh, cook our own food, we would offer it to God and we would accept the prasad and morning and end, the evening time, these two times, we used to visit the special temples which were there, though, uh, a any temple it can be. So, Tanjavur is of course famous for Lord Shiva, so we decided we will visit Brihadeshwara temple in the evening. So we reached that place where we were supposed to stay and we made some amazing, amazing, amazing delicacies. I still remember there is a uh, South Indian dish called, 
I don't know what is his name. Is it Pushpanam or something? It's a very, it's like a sweet rice. It's it's not sweet rice. I'm not able to recall, but it's like there are many colors of rice. If I meet my old friend uh, Kalyan from Chennai, I will ask him maybe what's the name of that dish. But if you know, then if you are from South India and if you're hearing this and if you know the name, then you could write it down in the comments. And uh, it looks like a rainbow. You know, it's fantastic. It's amazing. That's something we made, and uh, we had also made uh, things like you know, pongal. We had made sambar. So much, so much of the stuff related to South India. And then one of our senior gurus, he was supposed to reach Tanjabur, and he reached uh, quite late. So what happened? We were in a dilemma whether to go to Briyadeshwara temple with him that day or without him. And then many of our god brothers, they suggested that we are also very tired because we reached in the afternoon and we had a lot of cooking. So let us not go today. Let us take rest properly today night and tomorrow morning also we will not go. Tomorrow evening we will go. And tomorrow night we have the return bus to Chennai. So then we decided that's fine that's great there's, that's not an issue we'll visit once before going and um, then we decided okay so we slept and the next day morning we got up and we had amazing program there are lots of discussions from the Rama and we had especially I still remember we were discussing about this uh, Angad and Hanuman's conversation when they go to find mother Sita anyway so then at the end what happened our uh, one of our seniors one of our gurus he finally arrived quite late the previous day night and even that day due to some reason i mean the next day in the evening when we visited brihadeshwara temple he was again late due to some reason and we were again waiting that will we go with him or should we just go without him but then we thought anyways we waited yesterday also let's wait today also so then what happened uh, due to some reason he was again getting late and finally uh, we decided that i think he will be quite late so he only suggested that you guys have waited for me yesterday and today also i'll be again late i have some very important stuff to do i will visit the temple later in the later half of the evening i don't know if i will get get lord shiva's darshan or not but don't wait for me. Don't waste time. Please go and take darshan. And then what happened? Uh, we went. We went and we went. And the darshan was closed. <laughs> and then we were like, we were devastated. We were like, my God. So long we have been in Tanjavur from last uh, 36, 48 hours. But the purpose of coming was of course to have a lot of spiritual discussions. And it's a very holy place. But at the same time, uh, going without seeing special deities like Lord Shiva there that we, nobody could digest. And uh, all of us were praying very intensely that maybe we can see Lord Shiva at any cost. But then we knew that the temple management, they said, no, the doors are closed. That means the doors are closed. Or actually, uh, we thought as if the darshan has closed. I would say it that way. And then we were dejected, we were devastated, we were unhappy, we were sad, we were miserable, we were depressed, we were <laughs> that uh, we couldn't see. And then what happened? Uh, that senior guru he called us and he said, What happened? Did you get the darshan? Is it still open? Then we told, Forget about you coming and taking darshan. Even we did not get darshan, it is closed, it's finished, it's over. And then he said, no, that can't happen. You will get darshan with, I will come. <laughs> and then what happened was, uh, we we were asking around to so many people that will we get darshan and everybody said, no, no, it's not possible. You have to come tomorrow morning. And then we are like, no, we have our bus ticket today night at around, it was at around 9.30 or 10, I guess. So there was hardly any time to wait till tomorrow. And then uh, our senior, he arrived and when he came, what happened was 
we were kind of asking around that is there any way by which we can get darshan and then to our surprise and it's like a big miracle what happened as soon as uh, our senior guru when he was entering you know the vicinity of the temple then he was directly going towards the main door the gopuram and as he was going suddenly the the door opened like this and we were like my god what is happening <laughs> and then what happened there was a uh, big gathering of priests who came out from inside of the temple and they came out with something uh, on their you know shoulders and that was the utsav murti which is uh, displayed when you know the utsav murti they take god you know around the temple they do you can call it parikrama i would say i mean he doesn't do god doesn't have to do parikrama i mean he just goes and gives darshan to everybody and then that that started happening and then we were like my god we didn't get to see the shivling but we saw the utsav murti you know it's such a big miracle that when he was entering he just entered and then the door opened it was like a perfect movie scene you know it was like it was like no less than a miracle for us and then then what happened he met the priests and he said please 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 we are about to go tomorrow morning we have come from very far from chennai there are people who have come from trichy there are people who have come from pune there are people who have come from so many different places and then we need to get the darshan somehow we know it's closed it's gone but <laughs> we don't know rules regulations we just need the darshan somehow then one of the senior priests of the temple he uh, by seeing uh, our dedication our enthusiasm and our eagerness and our longing to see lord shiva he said that yes i permit all of you only your group only your gang because you are going to the night otherwise you won't be able to see directly go inside and then we were like wow we did not get uh, and then what happened we went inside the temple even when the darshan was closed and uh, that time uh, the shivling is there if i remember correctly they were undressing the shivling and we were watching from a distance and we were like amazed we were it was like a dream come true you know after so long we finally could uh, see lord shiva of course of course he was it was not a very good time to go there but what to do we somehow wanted the darshan so badly but the good thing was we also got darshan of the utsav murti and that day luckily there was some festival that the utsav murti used to come out or i don't know if it comes out more frequently but that's what i remember and uh, after that also we have gone to tanjavur but uh, it has happened very normally i mean never ever the utsav murti has come out like this and I still remember as soon as uh, our guru he entered just bang on the door opened and after that we took darshan nicely we offered our prayers to lord shiva and thanked him for allowing us to stay in his holy dham from the last two days and we requested him to bless us so that we can come again in such a place like tanjavur and we can again rip the spiritual benefits of such a place because whenever we do spiritual activities in any particular place then in a holy place especially where you know the energies are very potent then we get hundreds and thousands and lakhs of times more the benefit of which we get when we just sit in our home and do of course it's not that we should not do in our homes we can do in our home we need to do and we must do and at the same time whenever possible we should visit such places like tanjavur and then what happened uh, our bus was there it was night we all sat in the bus and uh, the bus reached chennai almost after some time and then we were walking towards the place where we used to stay in chennai it was a place in uh, thailavaram there's a place in uh, srm university you can type thailavaram so we used to stay there in thailavaram and then what happened uh, our senior that guru he told me that look 
you called me and uh, he told us that when you called me you said the darshan is closed but i said no you will get the darshan just just pray to him and that will happen so then uh, he said you know so what so the most important thing in spiritual life that is desire if you have desire to advance spiritually that will happen irrespective of material circumstances situations and surroundings and our existing karma and all boundaries it will happen when you desire it will happen all right and uh, next time uh, i will share another story uh, we had gone to a place in west bengal once a time once upon a time this was again in the year 2012 <laughs> this was somewhere uh, in june i would say a bit before this in- incidents and there also something amazing happened well that that was a blunder but that blunder became like a miracle not miracle i would say it was like a boon in this guys you know so yeah so th- this is something which i wanted to share and finally uh, lord shiva had blessed us abundantly and after that also we could get the opportunity to go to Tanjavur again and again I think almost two to three times after that we had gone there and it's an amazing place so please visit now also if possible and if you visit you can email me some of the photos at my email address okay so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me you could always go down to the description section below where you will find the link to my website And yes, if you also have any other interesting stories like this, where you also have been blessed by the DT there of that place, then you can also write it down in the comments. Okay, there you go. God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. Either you are in Tanjore or you are in a place like Berlin in Germany. Okay, bye bye.